how to add a form input on system io hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you the steps needed to create a form or add some form inputs uh on, on your on your funnel or any sort of site on system io that you can just edit so let's just go ahead and show you exactly how to do it i'm just going to use uh one of my test funnels here for example so just go ahead and open up your um the place where you wanted to add the form uh so we can just go ahead and use this one for example i'm just going to click on edit page and basically this is where you want to be you want it to be in the actual editor now find a place where you want to add the form i'm just going to add it uh, right down here so uh right above the actual footer and from here what we need to do is just go to the elements section here and then from within the uh, elements section, you want to scroll down a little bit until you find form input. Um, and here you just need to go ahead and drag and drop them to wherever you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop them right here. Uh, this is one of them, but then you can just feel free to place them on top of each other and so on. Or what I like to do is just get one of them. And then what we can do is just go ahead and duplicate them as many times as we need. So we have now four different forms that we can just use. Now what we need to do is just go ahead and click on each individual form and adjust it accordingly. So the first one here, you just go ahead and click on it uh, in the middle. And then you will have the input type option on the top left. You will need to go ahead and click on that. And you would need to select what type of form input this is, whether it's going to be for the first name, uh, last name, email, and so on. So for the, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to place it as first name. And then you can also feel free to change the pl placeholder text, which is the one in the box you can see right there. I'm just going to go ahead and change it to... Actually, let's just keep it as it is because it's actually for first name. But you can just feel free to change it if you would like. Uh, and then, then there is more stuff that you can uh, adjust when it comes down to it, like the background color of the actual box and so on. So more customization options on the panel on the left. But you would want to just uh, go on and continue editing the rest of the uh, form inputs here. So this one is going to be uh, last name. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and do something like email. And the last one is going to be, for example, phone number. And here's something that I did not mention is that you can actually make it optional. So for example, if they're not it's not necessarily to collect a phone number you can just check the optional tab here and now they don't really need to fill this in now finally before we end things we will need a button in order to submit this form otherwise well you know you they will add their first name last name email but then how can they actually submit it they will require a button so in that case what you need to do is just go ahead and scroll down from within the elements tab exactly where we found the form inputs right next to it you will find a button so just go ahead and drag and drop it to be right underneath the last form here and if we click on that we can see that the action one button clicked is submit form so we can actually go ahead and keep this in and this way when people fill in the form and click on this button it's just going to be uh submitted basically and you can obviously go ahead and change the text in the button here so just feel free to change it to whatever you like and this is pretty much how to add form inputs in system io hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching